Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today we're talking about something called green machines.、Mm. Okay. In some factories, of course, they have these large machines that manufacture products, and they are painted different colors. But we're not talking about the <laughs> colors that、no. these machines are painted. <laughs> we're talking about the fact that these machines are efficient. They're environmentally friendly, and they don't damage the environment. They don't produce a lot of pollutants. And they are probably not very noisy. They don't waste electricity. They don't、yeah. waste electricity and stuff、mm. like that. And also, I suppose they don't cause a lot of accidents. They're safe to operate and stuff like that. Because you know, if、uh, people get hurt on the job, it does cost the company some money in terms of lost wages and、uh, you know lost、uh, employee hours and stuff like that. So of course, you want to make these machines as efficient and safe as possible. Now, in the、uh, lesson for today, we've got. Uh, a CEO, the chief executive officer of the New Wave Corporation, and AMC did an interview with this person, and he's talking about his new manufacturing facility. Yeah, it's also going to have some AI or artificial intelligence.、Uh, robots will be a part of our lives more and more as time goes by. The sad part of that is it will cost people's people their jobs, right? They're going to be laid off, and robots will be used because that's more cost efficient. But、uh, the good thing about robots is fewer people will end up. Um, getting you know serious injuries in a factory, especially. It'd be kind of nice, you know, if、uh, the robots in factories that replace humans actually send the money onto the humans that they replace. That、right? would be great. That、huh? would be wonderful, but unfortunately, though, it、uh, <laughs> ends up going in the pocket of the CEO and the company, and the poor employee、uh, basically has to be unemployed and probably becomes homeless eventually. But we're not really talking about that so much. We are talking about making a factory with. Machines that are efficient as possible. They are green machines. So let's get to it. Let's read the entire conversation, and then we'll be right back to discuss it. AMC Magazine spoke to Addison Zhuang, chief executive officer of New Wave Corporation, about his new manufacturing facility. When we planned our new factory. I had a very clear agenda to make it as sustainable as possible. My goals were minimizing waste, eliminating inefficiency, and adopting environmentally friendly technology. While the financial aspect was important, it wasn't the be-all and end-all. I wanted to put the planet first. Of course, we took care of the obvious stuff like using renewable energy, natural lighting, and all the rest. However, one area we really focused on was robots and artificial intelligence (AI). This technology can play a big part in the field of recycling. Most recycling plants are very specific about their requirements and only deal with one or a few materials. Therefore, sorting is extremely important. Thanks to AI, our robots can sort the right materials with ever-increasing accuracy. Reducing labor costs and times, both here and at the recycling plant. In fact, the robot's accuracy is beneficial in every part of our factory. With AI, their pinpoint measurements help reduce waste and increase the efficiency of all our machines. In addition, we have robot-only areas that don't need lighting or heating, which in turn reduces our energy needs. We plan to expand our use of robots even more in the future. In fact, we have some interesting new developments that I plan to share at next January's Consumer Electronics Show. Okay, guys, let's jump right in.、Uh, one of our first vocabulary words are right there at the top, and it's facility, a new manufacturing facility. When you talk about a facility like this, it usually is a big building that has equipment in it.、Um, even if you go to, say, a hotel.、Um, Sometimes at the desk they'll say, "We hope you enjoy our facility or our facilities." Sometimes they'll make it plural too. It's a space, but it also could include equipment that's necessary 
for that particular area.、Um, if you go to a cooking class, they'll talk about their cooking facilities.、Um, it would include the、uh, the room that you're in, maybe even the building if they own it, and of course all of the equipment. So we're going to hear about Addison and his new manufacturing facility. Yep, it's、uh, one building, it's one factory. So he's talking about at about that place as a facility, as one place. So here, Addison. Here's、uh, some of the excerpts from his interview with AMC, and he says, "When we planned our new factory, I had a very clear agenda to make it as sustainable as possible." So here we've got the word agenda.、Mm -hmm. Usually, your agenda is a list of things that you're going to cover in a meeting, but in this particular case, it kind of means your goal or again the things you want to accomplish. Sometimes you'll hear it, especially if you're watching a movie or a TV show, and there's a bad guy, and he has some sort of、uh, evil agenda, something he wants to accomplish that's pretty bad and hurts other people. So we use it like that too. If you hear it in、um, some sort of piece of fiction, you could be reading a book and come across it that way as well. They're certainly not using it as a list of、uh, discussion topics for a meeting, where you usually will hear about it at least here in Taiwan. So he he says he has a clear agenda. He knows what he wants, and their agenda is this. And it's interesting. It's singular here. He just wants to make the factory or the manufacturing facility as sustainable as possible. Of course, that will include a lot of different things, but that's their primary goal. Exactly. So they don't want to waste resources, basically. So this is a good suggestion. If the government has various laws that control pollution and stuff like that, then of course you want your facility or your factory to be sustainable.、Mm -hmm. But also, it can help you make money in the long run by being efficient、mm -hmm. and not polluting the environment and、uh, recycling stuff. And of course, it can、uh, make everybody happy. You can produce nice products and keep the prices low, and、uh, you have lots of employees who have jobs. For a lifetime, etc. So yes, make the factory as sustainable as possible. And he goes on to say, my goals were minimizing waste, eliminating efficiency. Excuse me, eliminating inefficiency, <laughs> and adopting environmentally friendly technology. So yes, those are the things that he wanted to accomplish. My goals were the following: to minimize waste. So yes, minimizing or to minimize waste just means to make the waste as small as possible. The opposite of minimize is to maximize. You want to minimize waste and maximize efficiency. If you are、uh, using any sort of software program, you know they have windows. You can minimize the window. Or you can make it full size.、Um, you'll often see that minimize the screen, minimize the window. They want to also eliminate inefficiency. To eliminate means get rid of something entirely. So they're trying to get rid of inefficiency.、Um, that could be with machines. It could also mean people. A lot of people are very inefficient workers.、Um, one of the things I really appreciated about a couple of people that.、Um, Was their manager? They were really efficient. They didn't waste time. They didn't sit there and just gossip with their coworkers. They got the job done, and then they wanted to go. They wanted to leave on time, and I thought that was great because they were in. A, they were efficient. Why not?、Hmm. You don't have to stay until eight o'clock, just wasting time. The he also has a, a goal of adopting environmentally friendly technology. So the tech that they. End up installing in the factory needs to be environmentally friendly, not produce a lot of、uh, pollution, not waste a lot of energy.、Um, so those are all re really good goals. He's got one more here, though: the financial aspect or the financial part of it. What's that for him? Well, he says specifically here. While the financial aspect was important, it wasn't the be-all and end-all. So yes, it is true that the area of finance was important. In other words, the financial aspect or the idea of making money—that of course was important. Why would you build a factory if you don't want to make money? But he says it wasn't the be-all and end-all, which basically means it wasn't everything. I think this phrase, the be-all and end-all, actually. 
it comes from a Shakespeare play, Macbeth. I believe that's where I saw it before. But、uh, yeah, it just it doesn't mean that that's the end of it. It means that there's more to it. So it wasn't the be all and end all. It wasn't everything. Yes, money is important, but there are other things besides money. He wanted to put the planet first. He cares a lot about、uh, the Earth. So, moving on to the next paragraph, it says, "Of course, we took care of the obvious stuff like using renewable energy, natural lighting, and all the rest." So, he's already done his part. He feels like they've already thought through some of these things to make the facility or factory more green. However, One area you could also say one aspect we really focused on was robots. Robots are a big deal these days, and artificial intelligence, which we all know by now is AI.、Uh, typically, we'll just say AI, right?、Um, artificial intelligence. So this technology can play a big part in the field of recycling. How is that? What do、um, the robots or the AI help? How do they help with recycling? He says most recycling plants are very specific about their requirements and only deal with one or a few materials. I can see that. Seems like you'd have to have completely different、uh, machinery in order to maybe recycle paper as opposed to plastic. You know, it's, that makes sense to me. Although I don't recycle, so I'm not an expert in the field. Uh, right, and、uh, as you know, of course,、uh, when you turn in your plastic bottles to the recyclers, those bottles still need to be sorted. Totally, there are different kinds of plastic. If you look for that little triangle on the bottom of the plastic bottle, there'll be a number there, and of course, those have to be sorted into different categories.、Mm -hmm. And nowadays, of course, without any major technology, that all has to be sorted by hand. But、uh, if you have this AI technology, well. It can actually sort out those different kinds of plastic bottles or different kinds of metals by using technology, and you don't need to hire so many people to do that. So again,、uh, this technology can play a big part in the field of recycling. Okay, you can use it to sort out all those different materials, and most recycling plants are very specific about their requirements and only deal with one or a few materials. Therefore, sorting is extremely important. So yes, in indeed, if you have a recycling facility, you. Need to sort out all that stuff, as I said, and thanks to AI, our robots can sort the right materials with ever increasing accuracy,、mm. reducing labor costs and times, both here and at the recycling plant. So, in this、uh, sentence here, we've got the word accuracy. That's a noun. That just means how close to the correct number you are getting. If you're sorting out recyclable materials, you need to be accurate because if you get the wrong Type of plastic mixed in with some other ones, and then they do a melt of all the plastic.、Ooh. And if something's wrong in there, then the whole thing is wasted. You have to throw it out. So accuracy is very important. Sure is. So he says here, in fact, the robot's accuracy is beneficial in every part of our factory. So it actually helps the whole factory by having these robots be as accurate as they are. Now with AI, their pinpoint measurements help reduce waste and increase the efficiency of all our machines. To say something、um, is has you know pinpoint measurements or has pinpoint accuracy just means it's absolutely exact, absolutely precise. So、um, it's pretty amazing if they can get these pinpoint measurements. As you know, and I think everybody would admit to this, humans. Make mistakes. That's just being human, and it's really interesting because in the paragraph before,、um, he says that they can sort with ever increasing accuracy. The thing about robots and AI is they learn as they go along. Hopefully, humans learn too, but robots are able to adjust as they learn. Through doing, so it's kind of cool that way.、It's, he says here. In addition, we have robot-only areas that don't need lighting or heating. Robots don't complain when it gets too hot or it gets too cold. So that's one way to reduce、uh, the energy they need for the factory. 
Exactly. So if they have these robot-only areas, then people can't go in there, and then people can't complain if it's too hot or if it's too cold.、Uh, robots have a larger operating range、uh, from a low temperature to a high temperature. So of course that will increase efficiency. And robots don't need lighting. They don't have eyes. They don't need to see what they're doing. So of course you don't need lighting in those areas, and you don't need heating. And that in turn, or as a result, reduces Uses our energy needs, so they can save money that way. And of course, they've got these machines that have pinpoint accuracy, and it will be a very efficient factory in the long run. Now, here in the final paragraph, he says, "We plan to expand our use of robots even more in the future." So here, expand that just means to make something larger or to actually use more and more things. Like you want to expand your business, for example, if you have a restaurant. In a certain neighborhood in Gaoshung, for example, and lots of people come. Well, you can expand. You can either make that particular restaurant larger, or you can open branch restaurants in other parts of the city or other parts of Taiwan. Totally.、Um, if you're making some sort of clothing item, maybe you're a designer, you can expand your line by offering. Uh, maybe more more colorful shirts or pants or things like that. So, you can use expand in a lot of different ways. Now, remember in day one we talked about ways to explain things. Well, instead of saying "Can you elaborate?", you could say "Hey, can you expand on that a little?" And you'd always use the preposition "on." Expand on something just means you give more details, fill in the picture, as we might say as well. But so, here we'd say expand our use of robots. You don't need the preposition "on." No,、there. because we're not. This is a different usage of it. Exactly. So yes, we're going to expand our use of robots even more in the future.、Mm-hmm. And in fact, we have some interesting new developments that I plan to share at next January's Consumer Electronics Show. So we get a little bit of an idea. Idea of what's going to happen in the future. They're going to have an exhibition at the、mm. Consumer Electronics Show in January of next year. So yeah, you're going to see some new developments there, which he's not sharing with us now. But、uh, we can find out about those new ideas in the future again at that exhibition. So yeah, we've got a lot to look forward to here with these new factories using AI and robots and stuff like that. But as you said earlier, Stephanie, hopefully too many people won't be out of a job. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Let's listen now to see what our Chinese teacher has for us. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Today we continue to look at the eighth unit. We mentioned that the factory should be careful about safety. 把环保这一点当做他规划的一个方向跟重点，所以这篇提的也是 green machines。green machines 其实要谈的是机器人。哎，用机器人跟环保有关系吗？没有错。其实这个内容就是一篇访谈，而这个地方他说是新浪潮公司的。首席执行官，好 ，Alison， 那他要谈他的新厂里面。有什么样的设施？所以 Alison 就说了，我们现在规划新的工厂，有一个明确的 agenda， 就是你要做的是哪些事情，哪些事项。他说到的就是 make it as sustainable as possible。我们说到了 sustainable 这个字，都是在谈永续的发展，意思就是我们要让。地球能够活下去，让环境、生活环境能保持下去，让我们大家都能过得下去，这个就是一种永续发展的意义。所以 ，as sustainable as possible。那他说目标是什么呢？降低浪费，而且要消除低效率 （inefficiency）。好，我们知道 efficiency 就是效率，那 in 加上去就否定它了，就是没效率。所以低效率这样子的事情应该把它降低。好，机器也是一样，要让它发挥高效率的功能。还有就是要尽量采用环保的技术。那他提到了。
while the financial aspect was important. While 它有很多不同的解释哦。那像这个地方就比较像 although 尽管尽管说财务方面是重要的。不过我们要想到要知道的是 ，it wasn't the be all and end all. 那这个告诉你，他们要提到的财务是重要、重要归重要，这可不是全部。意思就是说，我们考虑，当然要考虑，但是该摆第一位的是什么呢 ？Put the planet first， 把地球摆第一位。好，下面他就说了。要处理的一些问题，比如说要使用再生能源、好自然采光这一类，诸如此类。好，记得这边还提到另外一个他的关注的领域，就是 AI artificial intelligence。我们知道人工智慧，哎 ，robots。机器人，当然，机器人也是一种人工智慧的运用。我们知道这个技术，它提到在回收的领域是扮演一个非常重要的角色。Play a big part in 这个片语就表示很重要。在至少回收界，我们晓得它会用到 robot， 还会到。用到 AI artificial intelligence， 那下面就说了，其实啊，很多回收厂，它呢都是说，嗯，它有很明确的要求，它只处理一种或少数的几种材料，那分类很重要，分类的过程，它就会用到了 AI， 它提到。Sorting is extremely important. 我们看到 sorting sort 其实就是代表。哎，分门别类。好，那我们知道回收厂里面有各种不同的垃圾，你需要分，这是哎可回收的里面的哎塑胶的哪一种塑胶？哎，这是纸类，这是等等等。分类要怎么做呢？因为有 AI， 所以它就可以怎么样？它就可以非常精确的来做到正确的分类。好，这边注意到了。Ever increasing accuracy. 这表示它是一直提升，它的准确度一直在提升。再来，下面就提到，嗯，实际上呢，我们知道机器人的这种准确性对于工厂的每一个部门都是有用的。With AI, with AI， 在这个地方的 with 就是有了，有了机器人。具备了机器人这种人工智能 AI 的话，嗯 ，their pinpoint measurements help reduce waste. 这里说到 pinpoint measurements 就是指它精确的测量，这样子就会提高我们的效率。还有，他还提到刚刚说到 AI， 提到它有一个区域，它叫做 robot only areas。我们注意到这边提到只有。机器人，也就是全机器人的这一区。那他讲到 ，We have robot-only areas that don't need lighting or heating. 好，接着后面加了 which。我们一样要停下来看一下这个逗点 which， 这是非限定用法。那他讲的其实就是前面说的叙述的这件事情，说我们有这种全机器人区域。哦、oh, ，那这样子的事实就让我们的这个能源的需求减少了，因为机器人不需要照明，机器人不需要暖气。好的，我们今天讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue with our lesson for today. We've got some discussion questions that we are going to ask and answer ourselves, and hopefully, all of you out there will be inspired to ask each other these questions and provide some very interesting answers. So, here's the first question for our discussion: If you had a robot, what would you want it to do? Well, pretty much just kind of clean my house. But the little robots that you can buy currently that sweep the floor. 
Yeah, I don't need that so much. I just want a robot to、um, hang up my clothes because you know some sometimes it, I'm busy and I just take off my clothes and I put on the couch. I would like my robot just to tidy up. That's what I would like, and to water my plants because you know I have to take them down. Water them, put them back up. I would like a plant, or I'd like a plant. I would like a robot also to definitely be able to clean the bathroom and wash the windows, especially on the balcony, because that that's pretty tough.、It、takes a lot of time, and it's also very hot in the summer. <laughs> well, you know, they say that we're supposed to get about three or four hours of exercise every day. Uh huh. But I work so hard, you know, and I don't have energy for that. So I would like my robot to actually do my exercise <laughs> for me. Okay. How is have, that going to、uh, help the, your body? Yeah, the robot <laughs> can go out and play basketball or go jogging or something like that, <laughs> and hopefully I can lose a bunch of calories that way、oh. and stay in shape. Of course, that's only dreaming. That's not possible. <laughs> We still have to do our own exercise. <laughs> but of course,、uh, one thing I'm thinking about here is we all know that. That、uh, society here in the world in Taiwan, Korea, Japan is getting older and older, and of course we're getting people who are requiring caregivers. So I'm wondering if in the future we can、mm-hmm. have more robots taking care of elderly people because there aren't so many young people around, and there are just so many people from Indonesia or the Philippines or Vietnam or whatever that we can bring into Taiwan to take care of our elderly. Hopefully we can figure out a way to get robots. To you know, help、uh, elderly people take showers and stuff like that,、uh, shop for food, cook for them,、uh, etc. But I would want something more alive, <laughs> you know, to be there.、Uh, right now, robots aren't at that level for sure. They were using robots on the cruise ship、uh, when we had the coronavirus, and、uh, there were all of those passengers stuck on the cruise ship. They sent robots to their rooms with their meals. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that on the news, and I thought that's a good idea. You know, because robots don't get sick, supposedly, and they don't complain about working conditions,、no. and they always show up for work and stuff like that. Although they might kill you in your sleep when they get a little bit smarter, so better watch those robots, guys. Yeah, eventually when they figure out that、uh, human beings are destroying the earth, so robots will decide to eliminate all, eliminate all human beings, so the world can be nice and clean again. But that's another subject for another day. Let's move on now to the next question here. What are some pros and cons of using robots in factories? Well, of course, the main con or the main negative an- aspect of this is just、uh, people are going to have to be trained in different industries、uh, so that they can have some work they can do.、Uh, we're getting pretty close to having the the cars and trucks drive themselves on the roads, and I was listening to、uh, an economist a couple weeks ago, and he said that's a major major area of jobs. At least in the United States, are these truckers, these truck drivers?、Mm. So, yeah, we need to、um, be thinking about it now because once they start replacing these workers, it's too late. We need to get、uh, working on how to retrain people in some of the industries where humans are still needed. Indeed, those are some of the cons. But、uh, as far as pros are concerned, some of the advantages to using robots in factories would, of course, mean increasing efficiency. But also, it means that all those factory workers could now stay home, and the paychecks would be sent directly to them, and they could spend it on going to going on holidays,、uh, you know, going to restaurants and stuff like that. And that will stimulate the economy again if the money goes to the workers and not into the CEO's pocket. Which it probably will. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. It's time now to say goodbye. So thanks for joining us. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.